Okay, third time. Third time filming this because the lighting is so bad. But hello, today we're gonna to do a day in the city. Um, it's a bit cloudy, or it was cloudy this morning. It's actually starting to get a little bit sunny now, which is a bit concerning, because I feel like I might be quite hot in these trousers. Um, but it's officially autumn, so it is definitely cooling down. Um, so we're gonna do a bit of a tourist day. But for a tourist day in the city, go to the opera house, try and find the little seal that is famous for sleeping at the bottom of the steps that lead down into the harbour. Not the famous steps, obviously, lead up to the opera house because that didn't work. He would get bothered by a lot of people. It's the steps around the back of the opera house, um, yeah, that lead down into the water. Uh, he's always like hopped up, hops up and has a little sleep and you can always see him um, on the ferry over to Manly because it goes past that bit, so that'd be nice. Um, so yeah, this morning we're gonna go for, it's 11 o'clock already, um, we're gonna go for brunch, lunch, I guess, in the city. We're going to go to Potts Point, which is a really cute little suburb. Is it counted, does it count as a suburb? Or does it just count as a section of the city? Um, it's quite bougie, they're quite wealthy, they have very nice brunch spots. Um, it is by the sea, I'm pretty sure they have like sea views there. But I haven't been there in so long, like literally maybe a couple of years. So I'm excited to have a mooch around the area and see, um, see what's what. And then, yeah, probably just have a shop around the city, um, walk around by the harbour and go to the opera house. So I thought I would bring you along for a day in the city. Um, I hope it doesn't get any hotter because I'm gonna be very hot in these cargoes. And just quickly, does anyone else get this issue, right? With these cargoes, they fit well here, but I just had on some other jeans that were so incredibly big here. Like there was like double the amount of material that needed to be there. So it literally, oh, sorry. It literally looked like the, like the jeans could go all, all the way up to my bra strap. It was ridiculous. They weren't very expensive, but I, I'm gonna have to get them altered because I think I'm not gonna wear them otherwise. I don't even know if you can get that section altered. But it's so annoying, and I think I just need to invest in a sewing machine because the amount of clothes that I have, that, well, trousers really, that are too long or like just don't fit right on the waistband is ridiculous. I feel like it'd be more like economical if I bought, bought a sewing machine. Obviously not over here, I just do, probably just do it when I go back home. Um, but yeah, that's my ramble of the day. Let's go. Point High Street we ended up going to a actually a sandwich shop because the place we wanted to had like a 45 minute wait which wasn't the vibe um, but it was really good it was like authentic Italian like for catch for sandwiches um, and now we're just walking down to the water we just popped into a little bookshop also saw also walked past some markets which were very cute so um, had a look at them but your yeah, Pops Point is just such a lovely area it's very like um, very like quaint, very, it's just a very sweet place. All the shops are so lovely. So many little like cafe, coffee shops. I feel like if we were to live in the city, it would be one of the places that we would consider. And you're actually really close to the water as well. Like you're really close to the harbour. Um, so yeah, let's go and see the sea. Also, I'm really glad that I did get changed into shorts because it is quite warm. So we've just walked all the way down and then what you do is you come to the army base which is actually really cool. They've got some massive army ships here and it's quite scary because they say that the um, the base is patrolled and look, I wonder if I'm even allowed to record. Anyway, what I wanted to show you, over here there's a really cool pool and you can see the harbour bridge just from the other side. Our friend told us about it, it's called like Andrew Charlton or like the Prince Charlton Hall or something like that. Lovely just to wander around and just like see what you see what you come across because we never actually do this. So we've just come across this pie shop that are famous for their pies. They've been established since 1945 and they're like 
world famous guys like look at all the people that they've had here famous people they have absolutely fabulous um they have pamela anderson around the front chris hemsworth of modern family cast members and yeah it's just like a little pie shop it's obviously quite famous <laughs> So we've walked all the way around to Woolloomooloo now, which is on the harbour as again. The pool is straight ahead of us. Look how good the water looks. Can you see the jellyfish? Pretty sure they, these ones aren't dangerous. They kind of just look like the ones that we get at home really, don't we though? But like tiny versions. The ones we get at home are massive actually, aren't they? Guys, we've come to the pool for a swim. How incredible it is. Tom, there's a cafe up there. You could totally work up there. Yeah, that's what Look at that massive army ship. Oh god, that's gonna make me feel. Oh my god, look! Look how clear the water is. You can see the rocks. Wow, that is so pretty. Haha, <laughs> look at the little duck. Today's swimming pool of choice. And then look at the view. How amazing. Okay, so it's called the Andrew Charlton Pool, FYI, and it's a saltwater pool, seven dollars to get in, and it's absolutely amazing. So we've just come, we've done a couple of, well, I haven't done any events, I've just been chilling, I've just been sitting, well, I've sat in the water, did, did a few, whatever, um, and yeah, it's absolutely amazing, it's the first time we've ever been to it, and I can't believe that this is the only time we've discovered this, even though our friends have been going on about it for so long, it's amazing. Just look at that, like, and it's salt water. And this lane here, the one closest to us, um, like, is free swimming. So, like, as in, you can just sit there, you can play games, like, you don't have to do lane swimming, which is what I'm always concerned about when I go to pools like this. And then, yeah, I've got the views of the harbour just to the other side. Pretty incredible. We are just continuing to walk along. We've left the park now. Oh, look, you can see little fish. Does anyone care? Tom doesn't care. Whenever we see like places where you can see rocks, I just, I'm obsessed with being able to see fish. So um, that is where we've come from. And this is where we're going. And Tom actually has a really yummy drink. What's it called, Tom? Oh, Karma Cola. It's called Karma Cola, which is obviously like Coke, Coca-Cola, but it's mixed with kombucha so it's like their healthy cola over here but it's actually really really nice but it's funny because it just to be fair it just looks like he's walking around with a long black but i know that it's with a big old thingy of coca-cola is that a seal but yeah we continue so we've walked all the way around we've walked all the way around and now we are at the um, bridge <laughs> and the opera house is literally just behind that branch, two secs. So here we go guys, we've reached the opera house, as you can see. There's three separate buildings. One, two, three. We'll walk along the back a bit to see if we can see the little seal. Hopefully he's there. It's called Benny. It's so weird how it looks completely different from every angle that you approach it from. And then we're walking around Circular Quay, which I've showed you many a time, and this is where you get the ferry over to Manly from. Right, we're now in Pitt Street, which is like the equivalent of Bond Street in London. As you can tell, it's absolutely rammed. Also, we've done 15,000 steps and I'm very, very tired. <laughs> Guys, I watch this on TikTok all the time. People buying like um, drinks from Korean stores and then you get a cup of ice and they've got it nice. in this new place. Oh my gosh, oh my God. It's an egg. Okay, guys. <laughs> we are home. I am literally so tired. We've done. I've just checked my phone. We've done twenty thousand steps. Sorry, it's a couple of flies. 
We're in 20,000 steps. I'm literally exhausted. We've walked all the way from Potts Point to Woolloomooloo, all along the coast to the Opera House, to, through the Botanical Gardens. I hope you can't hear that in the background. The Botanical Gardens, all the way up into the city, to Town Hall, and that is where we were like, okay, we're done. We got a little sweet treat from, um, this is the best thing. If you are visiting Sydney, like, or if you've never been here, never been to this place before, get it, okay? It's a cheese tart, sweet cheese tart. Oh. So good, I'm saving mine for later. Tom literally ate his on the train as soon as we got it. And also, we came across this really cool place in Town Hall. It's this, it was a um, Japanese, convenience store which is new and I like we are obsessed because when we went to um Tokyo in 2020 just before we came over to Australia one of our favorite things to do was going to like the 7-elevens look at all those different snacks look at the different drinks because it's completely different to what we would have back home and what you have out here like Oh, the flavours are so cool. The drinks, like the snacks, everything. I was getting so excited. And also at the moment, my guilty pleasure is to watch people um, on TikTok or like on my shorts page going into a convenience store and getting those like cups of ice and um, getting noodles and cheese and like making their food in the convenience store. And this convenience store had the cups of ice and like the coffees that you would buy that you would just sit in and have. They didn't have a place to sit in and have it, so it's not like full on, you know, but they had the things that you could purchase. So that was very, very cool. But anyway, I'm so tired. I'm gonna have a shower now, and then I'm gonna make some food. I'm gonna make um, Nando's burgers. You can get this from Coles out here, which is so good. So you just rub this all over the chicken. Fry the chicken, uh, we just got like a chia batter roll, we've just got like some broccoli to have on the side. Um, and then, oh, I'm gonna collapse on that sofa. <laughs> I'm gonna collapse on that sofa. I actually need to film and edit, no, I filmed this morning. I actually need to edit and upload a video. Don't know whether I'll be able to upload it tonight or tomorrow, but I'll definitely edit it today anyway, um, which is my sort of like life update about me moving back home to the UK and the traveling plans, like New Zealand Bali plans. So um, yeah, if you haven't watched that, feel free to go and watch it, but I'm gonna clock off. I'm gonna clock off, get into a food coma and have a shower because I am done. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. We literally saw way much more of the city than I actually thought that we were gonna be. See, I thought we'd go to like town hall maybe and then that would be it. But uh, yeah, we've gone on a little adventure today on the swimming pool. Incredible, highlight of the day, so beautiful. I wish that we had gone there sooner, but um, yeah, thanks for watching and I will see you in next week's video.